Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Mudashiru Obasa, commends the smooth working relationship existing between Nigeria's President Muhammad Buhari and the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo. Lagos Assembly Committee on Judiciary and LASIEC continues oversight functions across local government electoral offices in the state. Plus, Majority Leader of the Lagos State House of Assembly clinches Ikorodu Man of the Year Award. We have details coming up. Welcome you to another interesting episode of Lagos Parliament. If this is your first time of tuning in, we well, thank you for joining us. And for our regulars, this is the program that brings to your living rooms the activities of lawmakers in the Lagos State House of Assembly. I am Abimbola Agbibi. Get closer to your legislators. See them in action as they deliberate on moving the state forward. Watch updates on weekly events, presentation of bills, passage of laws, adoption of resolutions, and many more. Also, get a chance to meet the lawmaker of the week and watch the legislators. Observe plenary in Yoruba language. Lagos Parliament, every Thursday, 7.30 p.m. and Sunday, 11 a.m. respectively on TVC News Nigeria and TVC Entertainment. Lagos Parliament, bringing the legislators closer to you. Welcome back. Now the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Mudashiro Obasa, has commended the smooth working relationship that exists between Nigeria's President Muhammad Buhari and the Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo. Obasa said this recently in the United States of America, shortly after the President returned to the country after his medical vacation in the UK. While commending President Buhari for handing over the baton of leadership temporarily to Professor Oshibajo, he said while the President was away, activities in the country were not put on hold. Obasa noted that several visits made by the Vice President to some states in the country within the short period has shown that the present administration has the interest of the poor masses at heart. He urged leaders all over the world and indeed politicians to emulate the exemplary leadership style of the duo of President Muhammad Buhari and Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju. The Lagos State House of Assembly Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights, Public Petitions and LASIEC has continued its oversight functions across the local government electoral offices in the state. The committee, led by its chairman, Adif Milayo Tejo, show recently visited 10 local government areas to know the state of the storage facilities in the electoral offices in preparation for the forthcoming polls. Speaking to TVC News shortly after the visit, Tejo Show said the state government will leave no stone unturned in ensuring that the forthcoming elections are free, fair and credible. Yeah, they are here to um, check um, the facilities, um, offices, storage, um, as far as um, LASEC is concerned, and um, to check how things are being run uh, and how prepared we are for the uh, upcoming elections, local government elections. There's always um, room for improvement, but um, it's, not, it's not bad. Um, we are prepared. Um, as far as Agi local government is concerned, um, we have our storage, we have secured, um, we have our offices, we have our staff on ground. Everything is um, right in place. Um, although, obviously, you know, they would uh, pick one or two um, um, things that can, be, that can be improved upon. And uh, we have taken note and we're going to work on it. They've been fair and they've been um, blunt in the observations and that's what we need. Um, we need people to check us up so we can actually do better than we, we are. And I think they're doing a good job and I think they should continue with this. Hello, ma. I'm <laughs> 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 
you know, so far, we're seeing a difference. And um, even before coming inside, the school administrator has assured us that not only have they put the place in order, they will even make it better yeah. as time goes on. So we, we're, we're impressed Thank you. that you are doing what you are supposed to do. Thank you. And we want you to continue to do more work. Yes. Don't, be, don't relax, yes. you know, because you know, we're impressed coming in here. Yes. Put more effort into it so that the electoral officers can have, you know, freedom yes. to work at their own time. Yes. You know, they, they, they have a report to their uh, commission, yes. the head office, and they should be left to have um, free and fair elections. So we must, we must comment. Is, is that the electoral yes. officer? Yes, you are welcome. The electoral officer with the sole administrator and the people of Ojodu, SCDA, we are fully prepared. In terms of everything, we were fully prepared. And you can see our office now. The LASEC office has shown you that Ojodu is fully prepared for this upcoming election. We gave them notice, more than a week, for them to prepare. And the reason why we gave them notice is because the um, LASEC themselves, the commission, um, the chairman in particular, complained that some are not ready because they don't have storage facility, um, the offices are not well equipped. And as we came today, we've seen some that are actually not prepared. Um, this particular local government, Ikeja, is prepared. You know, um, pr practically everything on the checklist has been checked. The most important thing, like we have been saying from the beginning, is that we, we demand free and fair elections. Our people have confidence in the government of the state, and the government of the state will not disappoint them. The majority leader of the Lagos State House of Assembly and the lawmaker representing Ikorodu Constituency 1, Honorable Sanai Agumbia, they recently clinched the Ikorodu Man of the Year Award for its immense contributions to the growth of the community in the year 2016. The occasion attracted eminent personalities in the society. The occasion brought together eminent personalities in the state as a gather to honor the Ikorodu Man of the Year Honorable Sinai Abumbiadi, Majority Leader of the Lagos State House of Assembly. Traditional rulers in the community gathered around him as a group of professionals in the area rose to honor the man of the moment, otherwise known as the Bumnero of Ikorodu Kingdom. <laughs> Friends and well wishes attested to his good deeds to both young and old in the community. Honorable SOB Agubiade is a man of the people. And if there's anybody in Kurudu today who deserves that award, it is Honorable SOB Agubiade. The award, I feel great about it. I am appreciative, but above all, I feel challenged because. So having given Man of the Year awards for 2016 and 2017, that means that they're telling you that you've done well in 2016, you've been out, have been outstanding in 2016, then 2017 I have to work more because I don't, want to, I don't have to relent. So I see it as a great challenge to do more and I promise the people of Ikurudu that by the grace of God, as long as I hold their mandate, I will show appreciation by working with the for development of Ikurudu and for projection of these great 
division. Away from that, as part of its oversight functions, the Lagos Assembly Committee on Waterfront Infrastructural Development has flagged off its special tour of some jetties, terminals and shorelines in the state marked for reconstruction by the state government. I hope it's not that it's possible. <laughs> Given the traffic snarls that characterize the transportation sector in Lagos State, the government has shifted its attention to water transportation system as it plans to introduce a model transportation system in the course of the year. In realizing this dream, the House Committee on Waterfront Infrastructure, in the course of its oversight functions, has identified for inspection some waterway infrastructure in the state earmarked for construction. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Bolaho Ishao, led the committee, accompanied by men of the Lagos State Waterways Authority. Another level of danger. You see this natural shoreline. They're supposed to, you know, gradation. slope gradation, gradation. The first port of call was the Bayeku Jetty in Ikorodu area of the state. This jetty, as we soon discovered, came into existence in the year 2000. But like many other jetties in the community, it is currently underdeveloped. Most of the shorelines appear unsafe, which gave rise to the need for a holistic government attention as part of projects presently captured in the year 2017 budget. What the state is doing is to create new jetties to ensure that boat services, water transportation is um, enhanced, ramped up in Lagos State. So they are working, we are observing what they're doing. Like this particular jetty, now you've seen the safety issue here, and that is why it is also a mark for rehabilitation. So the state government is going to ensure that it is properly rehabilitated. The essence of this visit is oversight with respect to the Waterfront Infrastructure Development Committee and to the, the basis for government investing in waterfront jetty infrastructure is to improve the water transportation service within the state. Being one of the ways of transportation that Lagos State Government is looking into to improve, the only best way we can find that is by seeing for ourselves. And what we have seen now is um, it's a good thing. We know now the challenges and the difficulties they are facing. So we, we need to work together to ensure that we improve the waterways transportation in Lagos State. This place. If the words of the chairman of the committee are anything to go by, Lagos residents should expect a more viable and safe water transportation system within the state. The program is still Lagos Parliament. Welcome to the personality interview segment, otherwise known as my stewardship. And on the program this week, you will be meeting the lawmaker representing Badagri constituency too in the Lagos State House of Assembly. Is also the Chairman House Committee on Physical Planning and Urban Development. Let's go on this time out, and when we come back, you will be meeting my guests. <laughs> 